Hello, my name's Josephine Nern and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, here we have my blog, jollycrafting.blogspot.co.uk. You can pop along there for any information or, like I say, ingredients of what I'm using. Today we are actually making this um, a beautiful little MDF um, ice skating boot. We're actually using a fly a flurry of wishes stamp set and we're going to be using this tiny little one here today. We're going to be using a lot of um, verse marker ink and we're going to be using um, heat and stick powder which I think is brilliant from Stampin' Up! Um, to make the glitter obviously um, stick and instead of doing this in silver I'm going to do it in pink because um, I just want a different quirk on it. Okay, so let's begin. Right, so first of all, um, I'm sure that you've seen my other um, stamping up or MDF um, YouTube videos and you would need um, MDF um, obviously cut out um, boot and as you can see I've painted it on both sides any type of paint I've just used um, a matte emulsion um, paint for this um, when you use the heat tool it doesn't bubble or anything like that so don't be frightened of that so now what I'm going to do is bring my verse marking in and I'm going to run it along the bottom Of this okay and then we're going to bring a piece of paper in to catch this heat and I'm just going to sprinkle it along and I don't know if you can see but it's actually um, or should actually stick to it so I'm just going to remove this and pop this in my pot. Sorry ladies. A lot of... Uh, so, um, with my heat gun, I'm going to give it a glass. And very, very quickly, it starts to get a little bit like sticky. And that way I can see whether whether I've caught any or not. And I think I just need a bit more at this end. Because I want the glitter to actually stick on this end bit. There we go. I hope you watch my um, other video. And I know, I bet you some of you... Oh, that's, that's a lot better. You can see it nice and sticky. Right, so then I'm going to bring my glitter in. There's a lot going on here on my table. I'm using ultra fine glitter. Um, it's from my um, crafty stash, but I'm sure that you've got loads of different glitters. But just so that you can actually um, use anything from your crafty stash, you know, obviously uh, stamping up do their own bits and bobs. But I'm using a bit of stamping up and a bit of uh, right now. So I'm actually putting my stamp, my Versamark ink and making sure that I get quite a lot on. So I just want the top of the boot to have the glitter. And my Versamark ink is well loved. Right, let's see. Very good. Good coverage. Let's see how it that in the box. I've had this um 
heat and stick for quite some time right on goes the sugar. And here is the sugar. Mm -hmm. I bet most of you are thinking, oh, why is she not using a heat mat? But in actual fact, I've got loads of layers underneath here, so I should get away with it. Not to warp any mats or anything. There. So gentle tapping, to obviously to get the glitter off. And then pop the glitter back in my great big pot which I've had for some years now. Alright. So, there we go. So as you can see, I've done the glitter on the bottom of the uh, blade and then obviously the fluffy bits as well. Um, so now I'm going to bring in my smallest stamp of uh, uh, Flurry of Wishes. And as I keep saying to, oh, excuse me, ladies, um, I keep saying to you all, I know that I'm very, very naughty, and I've actually cut this one in half. But um, there are reasons why, and this is one of them, so that I can come in. Now, I know that you guys can't see it out there, but. If, Light, lightly, I say lightly stamping, but making sure that you've got enough first marking on it because we want a really good, good coverage of these snowflakes. That should be it, I think. I'll bring in my paper. Now, the trick is. To pour the um, embossing powder on, and then so not to get it, um, we don't want to. Oh, I've got some bits and pieces in there. We don't want to get the glitter pink, so we need to actually tap it off sideways because we don't want the pink. There's some more, um, sorry, pink embossing powder to contaminate the glitter at all. And if you were to tip it off any other way, then that's what actually would happen. So, there we go. And this is quite a quick little video. Um, so, what you could do, if you've got any, paint loads up and then... Um, this back in the actual pink embossing powder is from my um, crafty stash as well so ladies there you have it um, what do you think down there as well? I'm just looking at the other one and seeing. I'm so 
watching this design come to life right in front of your uh, I love embossing. I never ever get tired of it. But obviously it's a bit of a faff putting everything all away. Let's pop that there. I think we have it. there so all it needs is a little bit of ribbon which I've got in that one and there you have it um, the silver or the pink which one do you like um, there's my little bit of ribbon I'll pop through as well just to show you um, any type of ribbon that you've got from your crafty stash that will go through there um, obviously I haven't done the other side of this one could even it would even be nice I think for me to put pink ribbon in um, so anyway there you have it thank you for watching my youtube channel and popping along and um, any comments I would love you can always pop along to my blog jollycrafting.blogspot.co.uk and have a lovely day and see you very very soon bye for now